Hello, Tamra Ayad. I've gone and spoiled everything. Absolutely everything with my clumsiness. Have you also come to laugh at me? What are you talking about? Who's laughing at you? Everyone. After Who's everyone? Done? In my clumsiness, I knocked over and shattered grandmother's favorite vase. Uh huh. It was irreplaceable. A family heirloom from the old world. Now, I'm all alone. Alone? My family cannot tolerate such a misstep. They sent me to get something of equal value or to never return home again. It sounds fun. There might be valuable relics in Arcturus, but I'm scared to death of the Guardians. Can you help? Actually, I was on my way there anyway. Yeah, I'll bring you back something. Don't worry, uh... But maybe sort this thing out with your family. They don't sound great. They're gonna, you know, abandon you over a vase. I'm sorry. A vase. Alright, there's Arcturus off in the distance. Let's go explore. For this treasure. I won't be keeping all of it. I'll bring back something. I'll bring back a, a vase. For her grandmother. Why not? I have a noble Omi. Hey there. How's it going, old timer? Whoa. History is filled with the stories of those who resisted the call. Stories of failure and doom. Hold on. Ah, ah. Are you talking about your call? You call the other people? I feel a little jealous. Whoa. What is this? Ancient void gauntlets? Ah, uh, what do you call it? This is not as good. Block stamina damage. Plus nine intelligence, plus four constitution. Oh, wait a minute. Plus nine intelligence. That'll improve my rapier skills. All right. You win. You're in. I already learned that. I could put it up for sale. Uh, I gotta save that here. What do we have here? Medium footwear. Welcome constitution. Medium increase the catch of. Ooh! Fisherman's boots. I'm keeping those. That'd be great for fishing. Oh, hey, I got a boss. That was fast. That was incredibly easy, actually. Really, you can do that? You can go like three of these guys? Ancient urn. A lot of tan in here. Hello. Take that, strong health potion. That'll come in handy. Linen arcane embroidery. Come on. Wake up, old man. Let's go to this flight route. And this ancient urn. And this flight route. I think up here. Just hop up here. Nope. There's a little bit of water. A nice place, actually, you know, minus the whole uh, skeletons thing. Siege of Arcturus, day one. Back to the tower. On all sides, the corrupted come for us. Our lines of defense are broken. Our compatriots flee. Those who could cover the distance have come to this ancient place seeking shelter. We are preparing fortifications. 
So we will make our stand here. I do not think it will be enough. Oh. This was a soul warden temple. Could these be soul wardens? The soul wardens ancient? There's nothing good then. I don't know how I did that. That's the second time I've done that. That little back jump. By accident. Go. What is this? Wait. Why are they glowing? This is Azoth, right? This stuff? Oh, go this way, huh? Okay, I'm not interested in war right now. Got my own battles to attend to. Tell me what's going on here. Who are these people? You got names? No? Gonna stay quiet? That's rude. First one, but not the next two. Hey, big guy, Arcturian Regent. You get out of my way. I'm more of a one-on-one -on -one kind of guy. Ooh. We no longer have means of escape, but we were able to seal the upper floors of the tower. Even now, I can hear them battling against our barrier. We have rationed our food and supplies, our weapons. They will not last much longer. Sleepless in The soul wardens search my face for composure. I cannot save them, but I will not show them my despair. Definitely you, Jonas. Sounds like you. Your voice is in my head. I got three voices. Fun. Hey there. Warden's flight. General Warden Alazar. It's as I feared. My leg is useless, broken in the battle. Provin and Michael carried me to Arcturus Cat Tower, but I can see that my weight is burdened. They've already exhausted. There's still so much further to run. I told them to leave me behind. I know they'd get farther without me. They refused, like I knew they would. Michael swore the loudest, but in the end, even he couldn't disobey my orders. I barricaded the doors and lit a bonfire on the roof. The enemy can't fail to see it. Hopefully, they'll take the bait. If I can buy enough time for the others to escape, I don't care what happens to me. Hey. So, was that Jonas talking? Whoa. 
Okay. Second floor. Defeat the echoes of Yonos' fellow sword wolves. Say so. Okay. Soul Warden. I think the others were also Soul Wardens, but I guess not. Siege of Arcturus, Day 13. Supplies are exhausted. The tower shutters are under assault. There is nowhere else to go. Soon they will ascend the stair and all will be lost. They beg me to run. To preserve the Order's future, I will not be the last Soul Warden. I will not abandon my post. Well, did you abandon your post? Out of curiosity, I wouldn't blame you if you did. Hi there. of the soul wardens so are you even a whoa here i got you hold on the tower shudders under the assault there is nowhere else to go soon they will ascend the stair and all will be lost they beg me to run to preserve the order's future i will not be the last soul warden. I will not abandon my post. Well, let's find out what happened. Oh, this is Warden Alazar, not Jonas. This will, oh, might have been. He might be Alazar. This will be my last entry. It's just me and the stars now. To the south, my whole wardens are running. Yeah, it's, he's probably Alazar. From the north, corruption army, corruption's army comes. Only I can see them both from up here. Some people live their last moments in the way. Corruption? So... Is this corruption lady... Is this corruption lady that old? Or is the corruption older than her? Leave me alone, I'm reading. Some people live their last moments in the dungeon. I'm lucky to have the stars for company. They've reached the foot of the tower. I, Jonas Salazar. Oh, okay, his name is Jonas Salazar. I'm honored to have served as a soul commander for all these. Wait, one of my soldiers is coming back. What is Michael doing? I ordered them all to run. That's number Lunatic is going to get himself corrupted. Well, what did you do, Jonas? What did you do? Ah, 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 ah! Oh no, I wanted to go over there! Oh, crap. Ow. Alright, let's, let's get this face back to... I wanted to get on that second level, because it looks like there was some stuff there. Okay, let's get this face... ...to the... ...little noble girl. Hello, lady? Found something for you. Look at that! What a beauty! This will definitely get me back in grandmother's good graces. You've saved my life, friend. But on second thought, I should make certain this is what I think it is. What do you mean? Call me a liar. You certainly are calling me a truther. Well, let's go see Jonas. Maybe this will jog his memory about the corruption. 
and we'll get an idea of where to go from there. Ooh, more of those beautiful plants. Floating water bubbles. Salazar. Again, that expectant look on your face. What misery do you bring to me? Hmm? What answers did the tower provide? You're probably not going to like it. The swords are all gone, except for you. I see. The clamor, the ghosts, begging me to remember. I see failure. I see a crushing final defeat. My friend, I believe your hope is long gone from this world. Say that. Don't you say that. I know this is painful to remember, but I need answers. I need answers, old man. I truly am the last. All that the Order was, all that it will be in this decaying mind of mine you've rested your faith in me but it is unfounded and there is nowhere else you will find the strength you seek to leverage what if i became a soul warden yeah what if we just start the order again that is a terrible idea the process required to harden one's soul against corruption demands a sacrifice you cannot imagine. The days of the soul wardens are done with. And I have a great deal of fishing to do. Wait, if they're... So, it hardens their soul against the corruption. Then why were you afraid of Michael becoming corrupted? Obviously, it doesn't... It doesn't protect it all the way, I guess. But still, I have um, the corruption in my mind... And so I prefer it not to get to my soul. So I need your help, please. Ah, even if you were to pursue such a foolish notion, you would need to forge a weapon capable of combating corruption. Interesting. And that would be difficult indeed. The angry earth is no longer generous with its seeds of power. What do you mean by that? It's gotta be some way. You've done it before. There was once a huntress in these parts. An unfriendly and elusive sort. She spoke on the angry earth's behalf. You might ask about her in Oxford, but getting her to give you a living seed. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so all I need is a living seed from the uh, angry huntress. And since everyone lives forever here, Oh, she's still alive. However long ago that was. Oop, no, I don't want to drop him. I don't know why, but I thought I was at a shed. Okay. I'll work around here, it's done. So I say we get... What, what, what is that? I say we get back to... Uh, Oxborough for now. So is this Azoff? Is this how my teleporting... Am I teleporting through Azoff? Because it looks like Azoff. back. Let's uh, hand him some storage. Shield the last stand. Keep that. Some memento. Skeleton piercer. 
Uh, I guess we can probably get rid of Glass Musket. Huh? They're both named. Eh, but this isn't. It's just a. It's fine. Skull of the Brewster sounds cooler. Alright, Void Scholar. Plus 13 intelligence. Okay, fine. I'll wear it. Uh, Warhammer of the Soldier, Warhammer of the Knight, 288, 270, we'll get rid of this. I'll learn this. i learn these two, so I want to sell them then. Ammo. Alright. Oh, uh, these fishing boots. Actually, I'll keep the fishing boots. Cameras, lucky pants. These are light. Rare items from chests and monsters. Oh, interesting. I'll still put it away. Corruption. Okay, this is for finding corruption. Fisherman's boots, I'll keep those. And then we'll go to Monarch's Bluff. Put a bunch of stuff here. Take some travel rations. Up there too. Oh, we can scrap this, I guess. Okay. Wish I could tip you, but I cannot. Can I yet? Oh, I can. Here we go. Let's put some things up for sale. So, uh, let's see here. I wanted to sell music. Aha. Uh -huh. They sell order. Sure. Ten. Wait, it costs a fee to list. It costs four to list. Like, I might not even get this back. And another 50. Well, I hope someone buys it. Because, uh... I don't want to just destroy it. I don't gain anything from it. I'm going to just drop it in town if it doesn't sell. Give it to some uh, upstart bar. Oh wait, we wanted to go. Huntsman Lee. Right. You're a huntsman. You would know about a huntress. Also, I got the first. <sighs> Just feel how plush these pelts are. They're bloody perfect. The noble families will be happy as a rabbit in a carrot field. Nice doing business with you, friend. Don't worry, oh, that's gonna come in handy. All right, let's put it on. How do we look? We take the hat off. I mean, that's a good idea. Come by any quality first, do know that I pay handsomely for the right pelts. Or did you come seeking fashion advice? Uh, I'm looking for a huntress. Snow of anyone? The women here are not exactly the rugged sort, if you take my meaning. Though the ever so charming Tekla, the uh, artificer Petrowski, may ah. know, uh, she is the sort to traipse around in the woods. Gotcha. I've talked to her before, I think. Petrovsky. Petrovsky or is it Petrovska? Well, Artificer. 
Hello, Artificer. You smell of perfume. Have you been to see Huntsman Lee? What does he want now? He smells like perfume? I didn't notice. He said you could help me find a huntress. Oh, he did, did he? I've heard rumors about a strange woman who lives alone in the woods, but it smacks of gossip and folklore to me. Mayhaps there's someone who deals in gossip that could tell you more. Ah, okay. I know a few people who deal in gossip. Three, in fact. First one up, Grace. My hunch about this town was right. Did you know the jewelers deal in gold plating? These pampered city folk truly can't tell the difference. Well, what have you been up to? You know, here and there. Ruins, looting, treasure, soul wardens. Don't ask about the last one. I'm looking for a woman who lives in the forest. Well, now, that's a bit strange. I was just here in Tavern Talk the other day about some wild woman in the wood. Like a ghost, disappears when you look at her. Must I'd ask fate. the captain of the scouts. I'll wager he knows something. Got it. I think that's, uh... Dubois? Dubois, is that right? I keep forgetting how to say it. French names, man. French names. I know when those sniffing for information when I see one. I have certainly lived here long enough. Well, get on with it then. What do you want to know about? Ah, a wild woman in the forest. I'm assuming you would help me, considering we're pals. <laughs> There's legends, and then there's truth. People talk nonsense. Say the huntress is part animal or some kind of spirit. She's actually just a recluse. Makes a shrine near the mines to the north or home. I'd look there. Oh, thank you very much. Sorry, that was rude of me. I shouldn't do that to your face. I should do that away from your face. Ah, that's right, I need the machine. Now that I'm in looking a little more spiffy in the finest furs. Where was he? Over here, I think. Can I go in between here? I can't. How much is this? 10,000. Might as well pull some water. It won't hurt. You know if I can get out of here. There we go. Delivera. Shen. Arceus, or should I say Atticus, has told me a great deal about you. It seems I have you to thank for this auspicious meeting. I don't mention it. I have decided to grant Atticus my esteemed patronage, but it comes with a condition. Okay. What would that be? I cannot employ one who has already sworn to another. I must come to an acceptable arrangement with Lady Sacco. It would wound her pride to surrender him to me. But I suppose that is the point. Ask her to name her price. Sure, fine. Um, can't you do it? Whatever. Okay. Consetta Sacco. Hello, I didn't talk to you yet. I knew it. It was you who spread those ridiculous rumors. Sorry? You filled my darling Atticus's head with flights of fancy. And now look. He seeks to exit my employ. Well, you're not really supporting him. Lord Shen wishes to negotiate with you. He would. He knows what it would mean for him to woo my manservant. How it would stain the family name. He does it for his own pride, not for Atticus's sake. No, I will accept no offer. You don't really do much for his sake either. Ah. Uh... Stupid nobles. 
I think this is not a tool for you guys to use. He's a gifted composer. Well, what a surprise. I have deep pockets after all. But I am sure she will not part with him easily. Oh, you're right. She refused to part with him at all. How amusing. She thinks herself above temptation. Well, I can see that corrected. I prepared an initial offer. Deliver it to her if you would. And do not open it, or I shall have your head. Believe me, I'm not interested in opening it. What is that? Oh, I read that. Hello, the delivery boy is here. Are you intentionally trying to waste my time? I would. I told you, I will not part with my dear Atticus. Nothing from Lord Shen could possibly change my mind. <clears throat> Lord Shen sent me with this. Let me see it. Oh, oh, oh my. How grand. How generous. Perhaps he is not the fiend I thought. Oh, he has uh, such lovely taste in parchment. What a lovely texture. With great regret and sorrow, I do accept his offer. Oh, I'm sure. There must be some good regret and sorrow. It worked! You return. Well, shall I deliver the good news to Atticus? Yeah, I mean, he's right here. But, um, what did you offer her? Impertinent. But I am in a pleasant mood. I will divulge. I gave her a handsome estate in Windsor and her pick of personal attendance. A balm to her wounded pride. And I can dismiss one of my more irksome charges. Ah. Uh. I see. So you still win out in the end. Atticus? Thank you, my dear friend. Our mutual efforts have succeeded. I stand poised on the precipice of greatness with my patron at my back. Rest assured, I will not forget your part in this. I shall see your name praised. No worries. You're an amazing composer. I wish you luck, my friend. Truly, I do. I'm gonna get out of this. This is as great as this looks. Not exactly, uh. That's not dexterity. But it's medium, and it doesn't. Oh, it does actually bring me down to medium. Right, but this one has. Beautiful omnidirectional um, evade. In any direction. So it's hard to part with that. So I'll put this up this way for now. What's this? Oh, drums. Are they better than mine? Busker's blessing. The performer now receives the full tip amount. Opening act. The first three notes. Ooh, full tip amount. Was I not receiving it before? That's still that's still for my second chance. It's fine. Honey and biscuits. Ooh. Cool. Okay, let's put these back in the shed, and I think we're done in Oxboro for now. Yeah. Okay. Put this away in every ball. We'll put the rest into Monarch's Bluff. Cooking. Resources. Alright, okay. Alright, Oxboro. It's been nice, but. Actually, you know what? Let me stay at the end. I'll, I'll, I'll leave when it's, when it's daylight. Probably a good idea. 